Edmund Burke is today considered one of the great conservative philosophers. Raised in 18th century Ireland, he studied law in England but soon turned his hand to writing. This video looks at a parliamentary office he held for only a few months but which demonstrates his conservative pragmatism and sense of justice. After the British lost the Revolutionary War in America, a new government came to power and Edmund Burke, by this point a long-serving MP, was appointed Paymaster General of His Majesty's Forces. This was a very sought-after position, since a paymaster was effectively banker to the army and controlled how vast sums of money were spent. It is to Burke's credit that he, almost alone, didn't succumb to corruption. Burke only held the office from March to July 1782, but managed to get Parliament to pass the Civil List and Secret Money Service Act. This was an important reform, since it abolished 134 royal and civil officers, which included such outdated feudal posts as the Master of the Foxhounds. Honest government was advanced and nepotism was checked. Burke's Civil List Act wished to restore the balance between the King, who at the time was seen to have too much influence, and Parliament, removing the King's destabilising powers of patronage demonstrated Burke's desire for balance and harmony. Here is an important example of the type of conservatism advocated by Michael Oakeshott, who famously said a conservative should seek to merely keep the ship of state afloat and safe from dangers. Finally, Burke demonstrated conservatism's commitment to free trade by abolishing the Board of Trade temporarily, declaring commerce flourishes most when it is left to itself. 